sure we're all fairly acquainted with this by now as yet another problem not sure well it is more serious obviously but uh I, and I'm also not sure what all these lines are some of them are fingerprints but these ones that are like straight lines I don't know what those are those I'm hoping that that's not display breakage because that would ruin my day but get this check this out this is what happens when it powers on That indicates a video problem. I suspect that this thing has bad RAM, or it could have a video problem. But I'm going to hook this up, ye old trusty Acer AL1706, and we're going to uh, see if I get any sync if the onboard, because it could very well be a display ribbon cable. If it's not, and if it's not the RAM, the machine's toast. If it's, uh, if it's the RAM, or if it's like, if I need to get an outboard display for it, I will do that. I have absolutely no problem with that. But, first of all, I want to see what the extent of the problem is. So let me hook all this crap up and we'll come back. Right, it's hooked up. See if anything pops up on the display. I doubt it. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Didn't think so. Plan B. Let's try some RAM. Alright, sorry about the fact that I have no tripod, but I'm too lazy to get the damn thing and bring it here. I need a better screwdriver. This happens to be the first one that I grabbed, so... Whatever. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to grab one of my flatheads. How the hell? Oops. I really... This is... So there's that. Now, how do I get this stupid thing out? Because I haven't done that in a while. Pull out this drive, which is, by the way, a genuine Toshiba. No comments on the choice of drive, please. It happened to be what I had at the time. So there's that. Um, that over there, because I don't want that to be damaged. And like a T61, you have to pull out four screws, and they release the palm rest. This one has a fingerprint reader, so you would want to be careful about that as well. Not sure how much RAM this thing has. Not sure which screws I'm supposed to take out either, apparently. But these have never been taken out. I've never been in this until now. Of course, I never had a reason to be in this until now. Uh, they're all torqued pretty hard from the factory. You can tell when they're factory tightened because they make a click, which I'm not sure if the camera can hear over the sound of the fan, but... You know, whatever. So all four of these screws should... should come out at the end of a successful removal. Hopefully this works, because I don't... really don't feel like having to, um... First of all, I really want to get this working, because a new machine to replace this is not exactly going to really, really make me feel great. Okay, so apparently we have a stuck screw here. And apparently I'm still dropping the screwdriver all over the place. Would you come out of there, you... Ugh. Anyway, doesn't frickin' matter. I'm gonna pull the palm rest off anyway. Should be able to do... Or not. Yeah, that screw's still in there. 
loosen it. Loosely get it. No, that screw is not still in there. So apparently I missed a screw somewhere. Which I did not. So. No, I got it. Alright. Cool. Samsung made memory. How much is this? Let's just remove all of it and replace it with other chips. Because this is a laptop. I'm going to uh, move it back onto my desk here. The fact that the hard drive is not inserted does not matter in the slightest because it won't, won't hurt the damn thing to have, be, have no hard drive in it for... Well, goodness only knows how long I'm going to be doing this for, but... Let's try simplifying the memory configuration a little bit. One dim, because for all I know, one of these dims could have gone bad. Again, I apologize for the uh, lack of a freaking tripod. Because I can't do this one-handed. But you can still sort of get an idea as to what I'm doing. This is DDR2, by the way. So if we simplify it to one dim, let's see what it does. Same problem. If you put it in the top slot, what happens? No RAM issue. So I know which slot is the, uh, the main slot now. Let's try the second dim, see what happens. Same problem. So both of these sticks are apparently bad, which I don't believe in the slightest. I think this is a genuine RAM problem. So I think this is a genuine um, parts machine at this point. Let's try all the sticks that I have right here. What do I have right here? I have no clue. I just dropped one, too. Luckily, that wasn't the one that was fairly important. This is a 1 gig one that I have right here in my hands. This is a 1 gig PC5300 555 piece of crap that came out of that Acer netbook when I first got it. Really don't like this dim, but let's see what happens if I could get the stupid thing to go in the socket. Same issue. And this is a known working dim. Let's grab another known working dim. This um, Samsung 1 gig PC26400. This is a known working dim, so if this fails, this machine's dead. I'm not really willing to spend money on a motherboard, so. Same problem, I'm building the bet, yep. So, she's dead. All right. Uh, well, oh well. Data's still on this. I can get whatever is off of it, off of it, if I really need all that. But this one, well, I'll keep it around for parts, I guess. But other than that, it's pretty much useless. So, time has come to an end for this T61P. Now we're a little further into the beast, and we can see that there is some slight discoloration to the heat piping. But uh, then again, that is... I'm going to uh, presume that that's normal. I'm going to do something that rarely ever solves anything, but I'm going to remove the CMOS battery here. Hopefully I can pull this without causing harm to the motherboard. And now I have to plug in the damn keyboard again because I had to pull that out in order to get that thing out. So anyway, let me put this keyboard back together and we'll see what happens after I've pulled the CMOS battery. Well, I grabbed a dim. As you can see, I pulled the CMOS battery. Let's see what happens. I'm 
getting absolutely nothing. It's dead. I'm not really willing to go any further than that. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know. It's not the fan, that's for sure, because it would be actually popping something up on the display if it were the fan. So it's the graphics, and uh, I'm willing to bet that because it's onboard graphics, it's probably the CPU as well. Actually, wait a minute. I'm going to backtrack on this because this one has the NVIDIA graphics. So maybe there's a separate GPU somewhere. Yes, there is very definitely a separate GPU. In here, as you can see, under there, there's probably a GPU under there, and it's probably cooked. As you can see, there's some discoloration. Its time is up, however.